Hello. If you're visiting Golf Beginner World for the first time, welcome. But more importantly, if you're having difficulty dropping your arms and your hands and your shaft onto the correct plane during the start of the downswing, then try the following. I'm sure it'll help you. So when I notice that my students tendency is to move forwards and then to swing from out to in, the first thing I do is I try and test how loose and how supple they are at a dress. And almost always, almost always do I notice that the, the grip pressure is way too tight, uh, the, their shoulders are tense, arms are tensed up and then it's, it's really just not possible to drop the hands and the arms. Now it would be easy for me to tell you now, try and be looser in your body. It's not easy, especially if you're playing a tournament. But something that you can do that will definitely help you stay on plane is to stand slightly more bent over and then to swing around your spine. Now if you do that, it's almost impossible to swing from out to in. It can be that you do funny things with your hands, but that's something untypical. The main reason why golfers swing from out to in is, why, is because their trail shoulder moves that way instead of slightly downwards. Get a feel for that. That's wrong. And that's wrong too, by the way. Okay, so after you've done that, and it's important that you bend over more than you normally would do, which probably would mean that you have to stand a bit further from the ball. Now with the club in your hand, feel your shoulder swinging around your spine and then let's hit a ball. So what's happened now, I've automatically gotten my club a bit steeper through bending over more and by focusing on my sh shoulders, um, I'm just not able to do that because if I had to swing outwards, my shoulder would lift. So let's one more go. And the nice thing about this method is you can be really, um, yeah, almost aggressive. through the ball and not worry about coming from out to in. If you haven't done so, please join my channel. I'd love to help you in the future. Bye.